Solanastomus paradoxus, the ornate ghost pipefish or Harlequin ghost pipefish, is a false pipefish of the family Solanastomidae. The species name comes from the Greek paradoxos, referring to this fish's unusual external features. With its common name, ghost, referring to its ability to disguise itself and appear and disappear quickly. Alluding to the fact that even though it's a relatively common fish, ornate ghost pipefish are very well camouflaged and difficult to find. The range of color within Solanastomus paradoxus is highly variable, and when combined with their pattern structures, it significantly aids in their ability to camouflage among their hosts. Individuals of Solanastomus paradoxus will generally stick to a color phase made up of either light or dark pigments. They are characterized by their long, tubular, and downward, oriented snout and short, deep caudal peduncle. Their small mouths contain no teeth, and they do not possess a lateral line or scales. They generally maintain an upright posture and possess a prehensile tail, as well as a dermal skeleton consisting of multiple star-shaped stellate plates arranged sequentially and extending to the sides of the body. They also possess numerous small spinules on the abdominal area, dorsal fins, pelvic fins, and beyond. There are a few distinctive differences between females and males of the species. Female Solanastomus paradoxus are substantially larger and wider than the males. Besides size, females can also be identified by their distinct fused brood pouch. Individuals of Solanastomus paradoxus exhibit a mostly solitary lifestyle. When feeding, they primarily hang upside down and suction small fish and crustaceans, particularly mysid shrimps, of order mycida, and other small benthic shrimp, through a specialized snout. Given their camouflage, they are often mistaken as drifting pieces of algae or dead plant matter. The family of Solanastomus paradoxus, Solanastomidae, is a group of skin-brooding fishes. But unlike their relatives, Solanastomus embryos develop on the female brood sac that allows them to lay eggs inside of the pouch that males can then fertilize. It is estimated that the normal brood size can reach as high as 350 embryos. The IUCN conservation status of Solanastomus paradoxus has been evaluated as least concern. But despite this classification, there are several factors that could threaten to push this species, and others like it, to more threatened classifications. Primarily, the largest danger is the loss of their extremely fragile habitat. Additional damage could also possibly arise from bottom trawling operations, ship anchors, and many more general anthropogenic causes like pollution.